NoPixel is the biggest roleplay server in the world. The server is so large that it takes on average 6 to 10 hours to just join the server in the first place. Or oh, did I mention that you need to be whitelisted to begin with? For which you need to write a few thousand word essay? Yeah, it's that difficult to get in. Is the experience worth it? Subjectively, yes. And if it wasn't, I don't think people would spend hundreds of dollars a month just to get a priority on the server, so they don't have to wait a few hours to join. But here's the thing, there's also NoPixel public server, which is basically like a Buster Child. It's not essentially bad, but it's a completely different experience compared to the whitelisted one, and in my opinion, it's kind of a little bit neglected. That being said, I had a lot of fun, besides the time when I got banned. And you might be wondering, what kind of atrocities did I do to deserve a free day ban? Well... <laughs> you fucking stupid. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Believe it or not, I didn't actually mean to do that. I didn't know it was even possible to begin with, but this guy got real upset. Have you been a good boy this year? Santa, I'm literally gonna murder you. I hope you know that. Merry Christmas! So he spent the next 15 minutes bullying me in front of five people and then dumped me in the ocean so I lose absolutely everything that I had. Was it a morally right thing to do? You'll be the judge, but I got banned for NVL and OOC, which stands for not valuing life and being out of character. I assume the NVL is because of this and OOC because I said this. Have a wonderful day. Well, that sounds like a ticket out of the city. That was quite a pity, but I learned my lesson. Lesson being, don't inconvenience the admins with no sense of humor. When you go down to the ATM, you pull out 5k and you just give me 5k. You gotta also now take it to Tuner, which is another 5k, so it's really 10k. Yeah. So Nobody fucking ask you, shut the fuck up! <laughs> just kidding. The real morale of the story is that you shouldn't let a couple of bad examples to ruin your entire experience. So even with an admin trying to abuse their power in attempt to silence me, I still had plenty of fun. And I think I need to be clear that I got banned after all of this stuff, not before. So my adventure began at the pier. I was still getting used to my character and controls and accidentally punched somebody while trying to buy chicken nuggets. Ow. Oh, I'm so sorry. No chicken fingers for you. I didn't mean to do that. It happens to the best of us. If you think that was a rough start, I actually made a mistake worse than punching someone in the face. Thank you very much. And your two chicken fingers should be in the tray for you. Got it. You Thank you very up. much. Enjoy. You too. Oh no, this is so awkward. This is so awkward. I said you too. <laughs> And our adventure begins. Since I started with pretty much nothing but some money, I decided to buy myself a BMX. Keep moving, keep moving, nothing to see. This is a lot of stuff to see. Like, like just, just clear the scene, clear the scene. Keep going. All right, all right. He told me to clear the scene. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna use that flipped car as a ramp. Oh, they, they will not like that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was a dumb decision. Uh, that was pretty radical, actually. <laughs> But I didn't have my bike for too long. Wait, this is my bike. Please get off my bike. I'm nicking your bike. I just barely bought it. They stole my bike. Eventually, I managed to recover it. And I also learned how to park it. Since I didn't know where to start, I decided to go to casino. I'm gonna show you my skills with Blackjack. Check this out. So I lost most of my money. Wait, should I invest in cryptocurrency? That's a, I think that's a great idea. And that's how I lost all of my money. So while looking for something to do, I actually got kidnapped. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the guys were actually pretty nice. They didn't just take good care of me, they also offered to drop me off at my bike, where they kidnapped me in the first place. You wanna lift back to your bike or you wanna... Yeah, I would really appreciate that. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. You still struggling? Oh, oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, you okay, motherfucker? Do you want some ibuprofen? I got some spare. Do you need any bandages or anything or you all get? You guys are some of the <laughs> nicest guys ever. <laughs> On the way back, we managed to crash in a couple of cars. At least two. Uh, actually three. No, make it four. Thank you, you guys rock. We're back in action, baby! Seeing how much you can accomplish with a nice car, I decided to get a vehicle myself. Uh, what's your budget currently? I don't have much, so just show me what you got. Yeah, yeah. We do big bikes, big cars, give them whiplash. Come on, big bikes, big cars, give them whiplash. Sure. Tell them bring the G&E and we take cash. We don't care about the feds, man's pressing on the gas. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, uh, no. Where am I? You're my... Oh, my God. Uh. Oh, no, my God. 
it's got full. And that's how I learned the hard way that I should only rely on myself when it comes to driving in the city. Speaking of driving, one of my very first job offers was to chop up cars for parts and money. Needless to say, it didn't go well. We broke two out of three lockpicks trying to hotwire this car. Oh boy, I swear to God. All right, the hotwire is complete. You want to ride it? Sure. Oh, something seems to be damaged. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So it turns out the car we were trying to steal actually didn't have an engine. So in other words, we spent all our remaining money on lockpicks and we couldn't even get that car. This is the worst heist ever. Fortunately, we got an offer to pick up a secret package from the middle of nowhere, but we had one problem. The server was about to restart in just five minutes and it takes roughly three to four minutes to the place we were heading to. I'm going straight for the marker. Uh, just watch out because at the end of the airfield, there is a barrier thing you don't, you're not supposed to hit. Uh, which one? Like that. Like that. No, like... that's fine. <laughs> Is it? It's not. It's not fine. Surprisingly, the car managed to survive. Can't really say the same about my brain cells after the impact. You, you, you flip it. I'm gonna apply a first aid kit. I'm, I'm barely alive. I tried to warn you. Tell me, were you using a seatbelt? No. After the impact, the car started showing the funny genie lamp on the dashboard. So we decided to go to a car shop to figure out how many wishes we have. I got this. I got this. Okay. My drift skills. Did you just break it? We somehow managed to gather enough money for the engine repair, but we had to sacrifice unnecessary car parts. It's much easier to get in and out of the vehicle now. Yeah, true. Since we were pretty low on money, we had to find any kind of job possible. Oh, hey, so somebody's asking for a taxi. Maybe we can uh, offer some help. Would you get in this car if somebody drives up? Yes. It's worth a try then. It's not the nicest cab, but... Just oh, thing. Jesus oh. Christ! Who ordered a taxi? Oh, yeah. Fortunately for us, we managed to find two customers instead of one. Unfortunately for us, one of them was British. Can you take me to Sandy yeah. Shores, please? Maybe. Now. Now. Can you please stop harassing me? Sandy Shores now, mate. Come on. Gonna move on. Hey, boys, how much is a car in this city? I paid 50k for this one. This shitbox, you paid 50k. Don't call it a shitbox. It's actually pretty powerful. It, it survived oh, two flips, okay? It's fine. Wait, can I drive, please? What do you mean? Right. Can you drive? This is my car. Yeah, well, I'll pull you out the driver's seat and drive it. Wow. Myself. Oh, wait, we're smoking. Hold yeah. on, let me check the engine. You know what they say, beggars can't be yeah. choosers. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pay you. Like, hey, 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 like, hey, uh, careful, careful bucks. there. Ca careful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. How, how much do you think it. is the repair cost for this car? Oh, God, it's gotta be a couple of grand. <laughs> really? What do you mean, really? Half of the car is missing. I mean, I mean, I'll pay like $250. I'll give you $2. And 50 cents and a sucky sucky. You can, can you please get out of the car? No, 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 no. I'm joking. Can you please get out of the car? No, no, it was a joke. It was a joke. That is a good is car. It? You need to get that car. You're not getting one cent off me, mate. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to stop here. Kick him off. Out <laughs> I'm <road>. joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm tired of your jokes. Get out. I'm pay I'm going to pay you guys. Don't worry. Pay him now. My friend's a millionaire and I just flew into these cities. I don't believe you. Am I going to have to run on foot or what? Yeah, sure. You can do that. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Can we just go now. I'm sorry for my actions and my big mouth. I've noticed. And you better pray we don't crash into anything because this car will not survive another impact. Do you even have a driver's license, you idiot? Okay, get out. I'm not talking to you. You can use the call box. Guys, we're nearly there. Come on. Come on. You don't got the key, man. Look, should we call the police? I'll go in the back. I promise I'll go in the back now. We can make it easier. You're going in the trunk. No, 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 no. Right. You're going in the trunk or you're not going anywhere? Nah. It's very spacious there. You can lie down. Guys, guys. I promise I'll be quiet. Look, can you take him out? Just take me to Sandy right now, please. You know, we, we could have been there for like, uh, in like five minutes, but... Thank you, Luke. Run! <laughs> right! <laughs> Sweet. There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Big brain. Well, at least he has a call box. With the money we made from the taxi servers, we actually managed to repair most of our car, except the giant hole at the bottom. Can you pull the legs out of the hole? What hole? You put your legs through the hole in the oh, car. Oh, wait. <laughs> How am I I'm gonna do this? I, I know it's a shitbox, but it's not a Flintstone shitbox. You can't just yabba dabba do push this car. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I just fixed this car. Fixing the car was really refreshing, but there was one drawback. We got way too used to having no doors. Oh. <laughs> You're right. While doing random small gigs, we actually met a guy who was kind enough to invite us to his house. That unintentionally had a magic closet that would teleport you back to the spawn area. What happened? So I might or might not have entered Narnia in that closet. Wait, you went back to apartment? <laughs> While waiting for my friend, I actually managed to find somebody who was busy bullying new people in town. So I pulled the Robin Hood and mugged them. Guess who's got a spare gun now? <laughs> You do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he pulled it out right out of his trousers. Hopefully he's not gonna follow us and 
and have a whole gang that, you know, hunters. Ah, uh, I didn't think about that. Oh, we'll have a friend over here. We'll have a, we'll have a guy. I thought you would learn a lesson by now. Don't move. Don't fucking move. Don't fucking move. You don't move. You've been warned. Another gun to my collection. He's behind us. He's behind us. Okay. Okay, be, be ready to open fire. Are we gonna try and shoot? Oh, what is he gonna try and do? Oh, I'm gonna try to lose him. I have an idea. <laughs> that is, that's not uh, no, that was not part, part of the plan. Oh, they're coming back again. Wait. We should ditch the car. Oh, God. What? I'm hungry. Eventually, those guys left the scene, so I used it as an opportunity to flip the car and get back to the apartment to see if I can find my friend. Or at least I tried. While doing some work, I met a guy named Thomas, who taught me a bunch of stuff and showed me how the underground races work, as well as how to steal stuff from NPC houses. I think it's a laptop or I'm stealing apples. I'm stealing a lot of apples. And thanks to him, I also learned what items are more valuable than the others. Drop that, it's a fucking microwave, bro. While doing some work of Thomas, I received a call from a guy named Matt, a very nice guy I met the other day while fishing. Oh, Randy. Hey, it's nice to hear from you. Uh, I've been doing a lot of fishing. I got kidnapped this morning. But I couldn't tell what we we're doing because he really wants to become a cop. So we decided to go fishing again, and Thomas overheard our conversation. I can pass your car for the day if you want. Uh, it's alright, it's alright. I have a car, it's a shitbox, but it gets me from point A to point B. I'm just afraid of smashing car. anything expensive that I can't afford. Drive kind of not like a degen, you know, and you won't smash. Mm -hmm. If you kind of just hit the car up a bit, it'll be like 100 bucks for today's. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Hello. Is that, is that Randy? Yeah, that's me. Sorry, I'm just wearing a mask right now. Why are you wearing a mask? Uh, it's Halloween coming soon. Oh, we're doing some illegal oh. stuff, you know. Oh my god, you didn't have to say, say it like that. If a cop pulls you over, you say this is Thomas Riddle's car. Appreciate him giving us the car. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be straight honest. Uh, I would rather drop off this car. I'm too afraid to smash it. I'm a, I'm a totally professional driver, Randy. Mr. Riddle said that he was, or I guess Thomas said that he was, you guys were doing illegal things? Yeah, we robbed a couple of houses. Uh, Randy, you remember the thing I told you? Yeah. Oh, Jesus! So we didn't scratch the car much, but there were a couple of incidents. Oh, oh my, god, my god, sweet okay? Jesus! So when we arrived at the fishing spot, we met a guy named Skylar. Oh, look, it's one of those planes we saw uh, previously. There's a lot of planes today. Uh, is this your car by chance? Uh, to be honest, I just stole it. I mean, if you get pulled open, it'd be bad. I mean, I can give you a ride if you want. <laughs> Definitely. This car was given to us. Actually, you know what? <gasps> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Thomas is gonna kill us. Dude. Thomas is gonna kill us. Thomas is gonna kill us. No, oh my god. Me. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Uh, abandon ship. Okay, maybe we have to resort to the totally legal acquired white vehicle. Can we even get up? Uh, only one way to find out. I'm not really good at climbing, but... Oh god. Oh Jesus! I heard an explosion. Uh, some plane just... Oh my god! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Randy, Randy, calm down. We're, 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 we're gonna take this. We're gonna take this slow, all right? We're gonna walk down to the street. That's two planes that trust, just crash trust, into trust. each other. If, if I fall to my, if I no no no, I'll go first. No, ready. I don't think it's a good idea to get. Uh, we should we should probably go this way. If something happens, call nine one one. Okay, I think this is the safest way. <gasps> no, yeah, wait, oh dude, oh dude, okay dude. okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Just gotta carefully go down, carefully. That's the most important part. You just carefully slide down. You let it, you let it slide. Just, just slide. Carefully! <laughs> Matt! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you guys all right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm calling 911. Call Thomas. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, I think we should call Thomas. We might. Or might not have crashed the car. Is the car broken? Or right do you have a lock? Uh, I'm the, the, so far from there. Oh my god. We were called 911, but we we're not sure if they'll be able to find us because we're, we're stranded in the middle of nowhere. Oh shit. I only have a two seater and I'm across the city. <laughs> oh no. But I'm more worried for the Skylar and Matt. They're, they're knocked over here. Oh wait, you fucking killed them? If they're knocked out. I, I didn't them. kill anybody. <laughs> they, they fell to their death. Are they dead or are they knocked out? Wait, hold up. Well, long story short, we got stranded on top of a rock. But then we tried to get off the rock. I got off safely, but Matt and Skylar, they 
They fell. They were laying in front of me and I'm really scared. I'm on the phone with some guy that's stranded apparently, but yeah. I can pass him a car. Did he leave? Uh, I'm, I'm with Matt and Skylar. Yeah, I know that. Are they dead or are they not dead? They're unconscious. Uh, oh my god. I, I heard an explosion. I think it's another plane. You get used to it. Just. Oh my, I, oh my god, another plane crashed. How many planes is that? Uh, I think that's the fourth plane now. Oh, I'm hearing an ambulance. Oh shit, they're actually coming. I hope so. Will they be able to know where exactly we are located? Because we fell. An ambulance should find. If they went all the way up there, they're gonna look for you guys. Shout at them. Okay? Uh, like you know. I don't think they were here. The ambulance is here. I will try to get them down here. I don't know if they will be able to find us. It's gonna be all right. Unfortunately, the ambulance couldn't find us, and apparently even flipped on the way to us. But luckily, I found a guy on the other side of the river. Oh, I'm gonna ask this guy. We have a really bad situation here. Two of my friends are knocked unconscious on the other side of the river. Do you mind if we take the car? Just for a moment we need to we need to bring them to the hospital of course my friend anything thank you thank you i just gotta get you guys across the river uh it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right as i loaded the guys in the car matt finally managed to wake up matt matt we're we're going to the hospital everything is gonna be all right, right we're going to the hospital right now well first we're gonna collect the paycheck I, i'm down i can't get the paycheck right i can get it for you i don't think that's how it works thank you so much kind sir you really saved us it's gonna be all right all right thank you once again thank you you're a legend how do you he didn't. So I tried calling EMS again, but they thought I was pranking them since they couldn't find me the first time. All right, the ambulance should be on the way soon. You sure? Did you get a response? I got a response there. Ask about the nature of our call. I hope they be Lewis. I think they think we're pranking them because they couldn't find us last time. I may have to do this just in case. I'll be back. I'll be back, guys. Since nobody was coming and I still had a couple of lockpicks, I decided to steal a four-seater car. All right, let's wait for the ambulance. If anything, we have a car. That, that's that, that, that's a two Oh shit. That's a two door. Okay. Oh, one second. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically picked that car because I thought it was a four door. Since there wasn't much space in the two seater car, I decided to put Matt in the trunk. Okay, it's gonna be alright. Hold tight. Oh, I hear siren. You do? Yeah. Okay, let's wait for them. Thank God uh, you guys are here. Yeah. yeah sorry about that. We sorry it took so long. Things not built for yeah, off already. Yeah. I was worried you guys not gonna come. We flipped the ambulance two times too. Okay. What? Uh, what happened to them? No, no, absolutely no idea. While trying to load the guys in the ambulance, we ran into a little problem. Matt got stuck in the trunk. I can't get out of the trunk. <laughs> oh my god. Also, the EMS guy somehow put Skylar on top of the ambulance instead of inside of it. <laughs> Skylar's sitting on top of the ambulance. I don't know how did they put him up there. Be careful. Oh, Jesus! He, he won't feel a thing. I can tell that. Since I couldn't load Matt into the ambulance, I just decided to follow it. Hey, uh, sorry about the delay. We thought you were in the fishing spot. Thank God you're alive. Do you guys have wheelchairs? Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh my God. I don't think we could afford that. Fucking Matt, no! You hear me? Matt, you're feeling all right? No. So we decided to give an update to Thomas. Yo, did you make it? Yeah, we actually made it alive, but then they told us that uh, the wheelchair would be 10k. Fuck that, let them walk it out, bro. Yeah, they're they're walking, they're walking now after hearing that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around. Oh yeah, did I mention that this car we're driving is actually stolen? Why do I have this sense of being to worry? I don't know, you hit your head real hard. You tell me to not worry it makes you want to worry. Okay, worry. Oh, we're about to be pulled over. No, 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 you no, no, no. It's, just, it's, just fine, fine. It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, they will never find us. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Uh, good day, officer. You driving a stolen vehicle? Uh, no. If it's stolen? Uh, no, it's not stolen, it's a rental. You sure? Do you have the paperwork? Yeah, I have the paperwork. You mind showing me the paperwork? Yeah, sure. Ma'am? I put it on the floor. Yeah, we just had a rough uh, day at the fishing lake. So why does this number plate not match the paperwork? The paperwork I gave to the officer was for a different vehicle, but I was hoping he wouldn't notice. I'll be out of the car, mate. Let's <laughs> drive for... Go... Go just rent a car. Yeah, that, that, that's why we're here. Alright, have a nice day, Sheriff. See, I told you I'm really good at wards. I was scared for a second. It's a good thing he didn't check my pockets. Oh god, what did you have? So here's the thing. Ever since I had my gun stolen, I started carrying two guns at the same time. Just in case I have to give one of them away, I still get to keep the second one that I could use to defend myself. And I kind of became known for doing that, so people started stealing both of my guns. But what they didn't see coming is that now I carry three guns, one being inside my shoe. Give me, uh, give me ten bucks or I'll shoot you. 
Sure. Hope you enjoyed your time in Vespucci. Please vacate the area now. Okay. Since I couldn't find anything to do, I decided to start helping new people in town. So I met two guys. One named Haywood and the other guy named Ranu, who came all the way from India and has no idea what is going on. Oh, I'm from India. That's pretty cool. That's a very long way here. Oh my god. And I thought my car was a shitbox. Holy shit. Hey, what did you say about my car, bro? Yeah, you want a race? No, I will lose. Fair. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. God damn it, why did oh. he just stop in the middle of nowhere? Alright, good thing I'm a good driver. This car can handle anything. We sent it flying a couple of times and it survived. Can't say the same about my friends, but use your seatbelts. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm having a headache, I'm having a headache! Oh, no, no, I'm having a headache! No! No! no, 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 no. Uh, thank you, lads. I really appreciate the quick help. That guy over there in the back in the checkerboard shirt, he hit his head really hard. He's saying weird things. I figured Ronald would be better off in somebody else's hands, especially since I couldn't really talk to him since he had a TV playing in the background pretty much all the time. So I asked the EMS to pick him up. Please help him out. Don't worry about anything he says. What are they gonna do to him? Probably carry him. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Well, what do you mean have a good day? Get in the car. Get in the car. No. He doesn't need medical. Yeah, he does. We went flying off the cliff into the water. Put him in the car and please bring him to the hospital. It's very important. Sir, do you need to go see a doctor? Say yes. Yes, yes. All right. Thank you very much. I, you don't even imagine how much I appreciate that. Yeah, we require their patient approval. See you soon. You handled that one well, though. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> You're right. My legs. I think I made a mistake by giving him my phone number. You're like, please take him away from me. Oh, no. Oh no, I recognize this phone number. Ah, <laughs> uh, gosh darn it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hi, Rano, we're fishing. It's okay, I'm alone there. Oh. Where are you? Oh. oh no. We felt really bad for Rano, so we tried to find him, but unfortunately we couldn't. So later that day, me and my newfound friend Amadio got there to jump into the pool from the top of the roof by the cafe employees. It, it's relatively safe to be in the water. I might join for one. Go figure how did that go. Uh. You never curb stop yourself on your own knee. Just throw me in the trash. What? No. <laughs> Don't die on me. Oh my god, we're going to the graveyard. Do you need CPR too? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, one. Two. Just take us to the hospital! You're responsible for this! Me? What's up, Max? Oh my god. Did you guys jump in the pool as well? Oh my, oh my god. god. You missed the pool, sir. <laughs> you reached the pool in your heart, sir. It's okay. After paying my medical bills, I realized that I don't have much money left, so I decided to connect with Thomas to see what we can do together. Parkour. I never learned how to drive. Can I take this as a shortcut? <laughs> One way to learn the city. You can keep the car again if you want. Again. Yeah, just don't <laughs> kill your friends this time. I, I was not the one driving you, alright? Unfortunately, Thomas had to go to sleep, so we didn't get to do anything together. Good night. Good night. So I figured I'm just gonna hang out with my other friends, but something real unexpected happened. Hey, yo, listen, one of you bitches is gonna get in the trunk, otherwise I'm gonna, I'm gonna what fucking commit a homicide right now. Yo, go, you, you hat top, care, top hat. You wanna die or something? Hat <laughs> <laughs> top, <laughs> top hat. Top. Get in. Hat top, hat top. To the rescue! Hey, officer, did you happen to see a car pass by in that general direction? At a real high speed. It's a red Lancer going. East. It might have been it. it. It had something on the top. It had something on the top, yes. Uh, I would advise you go there, but do not approach them, okay? Okay. God damn it! What the fuck are you doing, bro? I told you to not approach them. Oh my god, you can't take that bike in there. I don't know if you knew, but you can't actually take him. Uh, what a way to learn. Can you get this bozo out of that area, bro? You're some dumb motherfucker, bro. Is that, uh, is that Randy out there? You're some dumb motherfucker. That's who it is. Hello, if you need to use a bank, uh, there's one about three blocks that way. I mean, if you need to collect a paycheck, you will have to wait. I need to collect my friend who is being ho held hostage in there. Okay, I'll get it out. Just don't do anything. Just. All right, I believe in you. Stand in the corner over there. I'm just gonna look for money that was may have given to you, okay? <laughs> I was not given anything. I'm gonna search you, I don't care. Okay. I'm just looking for particular things. Okay, fine. Just trust us. God damn it. Yeah, it happens. Okay, so what I want you to do is fucking sit here and wait. Got it. She didn't see my illegal phone dongle. She didn't see my other illegal phone dongle. She didn't see my stolen Rolex watch. She didn't see my golden chain, a jewelry part, and free pistol. Oh yeah, and a fucking wheel. <laughs>